Now that you've cleansed your crystal in your favorite method, and you know, different situations may call for a different technique. So sometimes you might want to soak them in salt water. Sometimes you might want to smudge them. It just depends. You know, and I'm just looking here. I don't think I can capture it on the, um, the video, but this one, after I just cleansed it a moment ago, has developed the most amazing rainbow right there. And this does happen. So look at your crystals when you're um, before and afterwards and see if there's any changes. Sometimes I'll actually change color, but often I'll see a rainbow that wasn't there before. So ooh, it's kind of exciting. Ah, oh, I got distracted. Okay, what were we talking about? Oh, okay, so we've cleansed them and we kind of like, you know, hosed them off. So now we want to recharge them. So how do you do that? Well, there's lots of ways to do that. Some of the crystals favorite ways is to put them out in a beautiful sunny day. It doesn't have to be hot, but um, put them out in a beautiful sunny day. In fact, be a little careful because if it's really, really cold or really, really hot, you don't want to introduce uh, big temperature changes. So if it's like, for example, a really hot day and they've been sitting out in the sun, don't bring them into the Arctic freeze uh, air conditioning because that's too big of a temperature drop. So let them, you know, bring their temperature down slowly because you don't want to crack your crystal because they could actually break. So sunlight, uh, gosh, they, they love being out in a sunny day. So that's one way. Moon, full moon, get your crystals outside. They're going to be begging you. It's like a dog that wants to go for a walk. Take me out, take me out. So take your crystals out and put them out in the, um, the bright sun, full moon. Let them soak up all that wonderful energy. Now, again, intention. I like to tell them what the heck they're doing. So I will say, crystals, listen to me. I want you to absorb all of this wonderful life prana. I want you to absorb um, sun energy. I want you to absorb love, whatever it is that you want them to absorb. And so you basically just are recharging your battery. Um, one of the uh, quickest ways, if you've got a, an electrical storm coming up, put your babies out. They love the electrical storms that energy and and you can as a human you can feel that energy when when the storm is coming through that front is coming through and that that crackly in the uh, the atmosphere your babies love it so put your babies out when there is going to be an electrical storm okay um next thing is uh, you can recharge them using prayer or intention. And to do that, you just simply hold your crystal in your hand and just make a connection with your crystal. I like to close my eyes and then I will say a prayer. And I will tell it to absorb life, prana, um, love, the light, whatever it is that, um, you know, I wanted to do. I will often tell it that I'm sending divine healing energy. I'm a Reiki master, so I infuse it with Reiki. But you don't have to be a Reiki master to put good woo-woo in your stones. So that's another way to recharge your stones. You can put them in um, other crystals. So maybe you've got a little bowl that, or uh, like an amethyst cathedral or some sort of a cluster of um, uh, quartz. Uh, I've got a couple of those and I put my crystals down in there that also it cleans them but it also recharges them. So that's another great way to uh, take care of your recharging part of your crystals and their care. One last way that you can cleanse your crystals if they're being naughty um, and we can talk about that later uh, is you can actually bury them in um, like if you've got a container you can put some sand or some dirt in it and bury them in there, or you can take them outside and bury them. If you're taking them outside to bury them, make sure you mark where it is and then have some sort of a reminder to go dig them up. Otherwise, you're going to be like a squirrel forgetting where your nuts are. So you want to be careful about that unless you just intend to bury it for good, like if you're protecting your property. But um, that's kind of a last ditch effort. You don't have to bury your crystals to get them clean in most cases. So then the final thing you want to do is you want to program your crystal. So you've cleaned them. 
you've hosed it off, yay, you've recharged your battery, and now they're fresh and ready to go. So what do you want your crystals to do for you? So for example, this is amethyst, and amethyst is particularly good at uh, healing. It's a master healing stone. And let's just say that you want to, um, I don't know, uh, it's also a great protection stone. Let's say you want to protect yourself against uh, somebody who's doing a lot of gossip at the, the office or the school or whatever. So you would hold your crystal. It's been cleansed. It's been charged. Now we're going to program it. You hold your crystal, close your eyes, quiet your mind, and just get yourself centered and focus on that crystal energy. And I, I talk to the crystal and I just say, Crystal, listen to me. Crystal, listen to me. Put a shield of protection around me. Nothing negative can get in. Anything negative can get out. Thank you for your protection. And it's just as simple as that. Don't get all elaborate. So if you want a couple of things done, assign other crystals different jobs, but it can, ex it can accept simple commands. So you just basically zone in on it and you tell it what you want it to do. Crystal, listen to me and then tell it very clearly what your intention is and what you would like it f to do. When it stops working, then it's dirty. It needs to be cleansed. It needs to be recharged and it needs to be reprogrammed. Depending on how icky your environment is and how much work it's doing for you. You may need to do that often. Typically not, but you never know. It depends on your environment. So that's how you cleanse, you recharge, and you program your crystals. If this has been of help in any way, shape, or form, we would sure appreciate a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel because we're coming out with new goodies all the time. And then put your comments below on how do you like to take care of your crystals? What's your routine? And uh, don't forget to hit the bell because that's going to tell you when we have the next video. I sure hope this helps. And this is Susan. I'm the uh, owner here at the Rock Shop at 311 Broadway in historic downtown Paducah. Positive energy. It works. Have a great day.